Also, a rising star in the world of wine is visiting Cincinnati for the first time today. And joining me is Dusty Nabor, also Dan Altum. And thank you all both for coming in. No Good morning. Yeah. Yes, thank, I'm glad We're to have excited. you all here. So I, I know, Dan, you have been having a lot of events at the Psalm Wine Bar and bringing Absolutely. in different winemakers. So tell us about what you've been doing. Yeah, so we created the uh, wine club that uh, has a strong membership. And uh, this is some of our dynamic programming that we add in monthly for our uh, members. Yeah. And we've done this Meet the Winemaker series. And we got Dusty, um, my good uh, friend and colleague, uh, Keegan. Uh -huh. Corcoran owns um, Ignition Wines. He's the distributor for Dusty's Wines here, among other wines. Yeah. Uh, interesting that you were finding all these winemakers and so Dusty yeah. tell us how you two linked up how did you hear about it it was uh, through Keegan uh -huh. yeah through my distributor uh, brought me out here to parade me around and showcase yeah. the wines and rep my region really yes yeah, so Santa Barbara Santa Barbara and tell us a little bit about the wines that you make and how it's a little bit different from from the other wines that are available sure I mean you're really getting an essence of me through the wine. Uh, my techniques that uh, I use to make the wines make them unique and I hope that shows through. So I make the wines in Santa Barbara. I do Pinot, Chardonnay, Grenache, Syrah, and Cabernet. Um, quite the gambit of wines, um, but they're all made in a similar style. Um, I don't really do much. I try to translate the place as much as I can. Yeah, I really love that. I mean, it's really fascinating just the whole process too. I mean, was this something, how did you get into this? Drinking wine. Okay. So yeah, really? I, I, I come, I, very simply, I came from the consumer side. I did okay. not grow up in a wine yeah. family. Um, I just got into wine uh, through a mutual friend. And um, I am one of those type of people that I can't just take things at face value. I need to learn more about them. And uh, I was visiting wine country, saw the cellar equipment, and it was idle, and I didn't know why. So that just led me down uh, the path of learning how to do it, and um, here we are 10 years later. Love to hear that story. And so, Dan, you started this series, or helped start the series, with the different winemakers coming in. And just how does that elevate the experience, would you say, when you actually get to meet the person who makes the wine that you're drinking? Well, it's really a game changer. I mean, it makes it... Uh, um, you know, these guys are accessible. It's not just someone that is a figurehead behind the scenes or whatnot. When you actually get to feel and, and yeah. witness the passion that they have for making the wines, uh, the values and vision that they see behind the scenes and why the whys and whats and whens. Mm -hmm. And all that yeah. is just so fascinating. But to get it from you know, the person that's actually creating the, the, the wine is just phenomenal. It is fascinating. And for those who want to come out and maybe take part in this, meet you, drink the wines, what do they need to do? Just log on to uh, psalmwinebarcincinnati.com. We do have a banner at the top of the, uh, of the website. Mm -hmm. You can just click on there for tickets or $10. So okay. for $10 to try these wines and to meet such a great guy and a visionary really in the wines, his wines are fantastic. Yeah. I appreciate that. And yeah, imagine absolutely. having a party and you have the wines and you could talk about the winemaker that you met from California. <laughs> right. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? So that's up the level. And there are some tickets left, so people need to there hurry are. up and get them if you want to come out. And they'll be able to purchase these wines as well. Yeah. So uh, at state minimum, as always. So. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And so you all have been doing this for a little while now. What has the response been, would you say? Overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It really has. Yeah. We've had a lot of great content come through, yeah. and this is just another... Uh, just an, you know, just another kind of notch in there to uh, to make the experience the next time even better. All so right. it's going to be a great time out there. Again, get your tickets if you are interested in going. Dan and Dusty, thank you all so much yeah. for coming Thanks in. Good to see us. you, Amber. All Appreciate right, it. good to see you too. We'll send it back to you, Stefano. All right.